What's your favorite part about playing along the O-line? Crushing the other guy. When everything in him is just defeated and you're driving him into the ground. Being relentless, and that's kind of the way I like to play. To test out Nate Solder takes on defenders, we'll have him attempt to stop this 300-pound heavy bag as it comes swinging straight at him. Three, two, one, go! Nice, nice, get it. Move! Nice! Solder shuts the bag down cold, absorbing over 2,700 pounds of force without giving an inch. That's comparable to stopping a blitzing Brian Erlacher dead in his tracks. Since an O-lineman has to be mobile in order to execute the NFL's sophisticated blocking schemes, we've created a pulling test. You're going to pull down the line and just slam right into our dummy. I can do that. <laughs> you can do that. I can do that. Three, two, one. breaks the light trigger in only eight tenths of a second changes direction and covers five yards in barely over one second he drives the dummy up and into the ground with almost 2800 pounds of force as strong as hits we've measured by dwight freeney Nate Solder is one of the biggest and most impressive athletes we've ever tested. We measured his vertical leap at 32 inches. That's four inches higher than the average vert in the NBA. And yet, at 319 pounds, Solder outweighs every player in that league except Shaq. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.